So we're finishing the chapter today. We're finishing the chapter today. And uh, I was looking last night, you know, to, to try to understand better what this chapter was really all about. Um, and uh, we'll have to go into that. This, this, this whole safer's lectures, I'm sure you could learn on it. So this, in this few chapters, very somebody from crack about. And um, basically, just in one sentence, like he says that the first few chapters of the book from 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 from, um, from chapter three to seven. Dr. Rebel was talking about the unity of the worlds, how all the worlds are within Hashem and how the, there's the supernal unity and the lower unity and so on. Uh, and now, and now uh, these chapters, he's talking about the simple unity of God, that that unity is also, is also in the... Uh, the Sfirot, in other words, the attributes, when we speak about the attributes of Hashem, you know, Chachma, Bina, Dat, Chesed, Gvura, etc., that these are also really uh, part of the simple unity of Hashem, and that, the, the, that, that all this talk about the, the various attributes um, are just for us to have some sense of the way Hashem is manifesting to us. Um, and um, and that, that, that now he's going into, well, what about the, the words of creation with which God created the world, the ten utterances, and uh, those two are also part of the simple unity. And even the letters of those words are part of the simple unity and so on. So we're going to have to go into that more, but that's sort of the direction that he's, that he's going into. In other words, not only are all the different worlds uh, do not make any change in, in God, but also the, 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 the knowledge, the subject, the knower, are also, like the Rambam says, it's all one, and that's something that is beyond human comprehension because we, 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 we attain, we have a certain amount of wisdom and knowledge within ourselves, and whatever else we know is coming to us from the outside, right? But in the Shem, it's all just knowing himself. We're, we're dealing with only six directions. Six basic directions. Yeah. That's our capacity. Okay. So, so Hashem is <laughs> every space in between. Our past, present, and future for us. Yes. <coughs> okay. So we're on page 132, 132. Okay. Um, we're actually on 133. So, so he's so Dr. Rebbe was saying that um, <coughs> emotions get rest in thoughts, right? And in thoughts, there are um, letters of thoughts which then produce words, right? And they produce letters of speech, which and the and the um, 
and the, sat, the letters of Sat are the soul of the letters of speech, which then brings to action. And he gave the example of Tzedakah, like for, he gave an example of, for example, a king commanding his subjects to give charity. So the words have so much power that it makes the subjects give Tzedakah. And also when a person does something himself, even if he's not commanding it to someone else, the same process takes place, but it's easier to see the process when the king gives the command and the subjects <coughs> see the action. And so, so the energy that is, that is in the final act of the, um, that is being done is much, it's, it's, it's like, um, it's like, it's literally like nothing compared to the energy of the soul that is in, that is, that is in the speech of man. And uh, we're going to take. We're going to start at the bottom of one thirty-two. And this is similar to the relationship and the parable of the body to the soul. Second last line of one thirty-two. And the speech relates to action. Like the body relates to the soul, hagufu haklila neshama. The body is the instrument, the vessel for the soul. Kichol kli, like all vessels, ain bo et kol hachiyuniyut shel ha'havaya hamitlabeshet bo. Like every vessel, um, and the vessel does not contain the the entire life energy of existence that is vested in it. In other words, the it only contains a little bit of that life energy. Page 133, and if we wish to present another parable, speech and action, they relate to each other, like the relationship of an idea or a program to the production, to the... Huh? I was looking at the wrong spot. Oh, okay. okay. To the production, to the, to the uh, uh, presentation of that program in, act, in, in, in action, in deed. Like uh, once, to the technique to read this dancing guy, Moshiko, and he was talking about how uh, once he finalizes a concept of, uh, of a production in his mind, it might take two or three years until it's going to be on stage. So, so it's 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 it, so so it takes him like two or three years to put it. In other words, from that moment where the the, the concept is finalized in his mind until it actually gets on stage, it's going to take him two three years of work. And he says that he said that. From that point on, everything he does, what he eats, what he reads, how much he sleeps, where he goes, where he doesn't go, everything is focused on that production, totally. Like uh, and that, that when I heard that, then I understood the idea of a warrior, that the, that the warrior moves in such a way that everything that he does is totally focused on, on, uh, on the goal. So, I, I read something this week in, in the Sefer from the, the Chidush Yehavim. He said that, you know, we say Torah Shebikhtav, the Torah that is in writing. And we say Torah Shebaal Peh, the oral Torah, right? The Mishnah, the Talmud, what we're learning now, it's all part of Torah Shebaal Peh. So, why don't we don't say to, we don't why don't we say Torah Shibbe? Why don't we say Torah Shibal Pe? So he, he explained it as follows Baal basically means master, being the master over something. Oh, I mentioned it yesterday and you said about two lips, right? To keep your mouth shut. To be a master of of, of uh, the oral Torah 
is to recognize the, the in, a, in a different sense is to recognize the power of speech and to know to realize how how one extra word can ruin an entire concept one word two less can ruin an entire concept right mm -hmm. that's the mastery of uh, over speech because speech is such a powerful thing And so is the relationship between these letters of speech to the letters of thought. In other words, we don't we don't think in these kinds of terms, but 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 like words are made up of letters, and letters are into the, 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 there's a safer we have from Rep. Ginsburg uh, and where he's presenting nine dimensions of every letter of the alphabet. Okay. And uh, so so when you take so it takes for example Boker you know, what you, what you're doing is you're taking a bet and a kuf and a rage and a tet and a bab and a bet and you're putting together like a particular dimension of each of these letters with another letter and with another letter and so on and this and that gives you the word boker and then you the word tov and um, uh, earlier in the previous chapter I believe it was like you know the, the Rav Shams also was explaining that he was giving a parable of um, uh, from 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 chemistry, from the nomenclature of chemistry, how like, you know when you break down things to their elements, and uh, just the arrangement of the letters represents huge differences in the way these things manifest in the world. The arrangement of the letters, the, the value system, the, the values that are that are attached to them, and so on. So, could I just make a comment? Yeah. Um, I'm doing a project. I'm learning calligraphy. That yeah, yeah. How to write the Hebrew letters, and um, it's correct. But it's well, I've, I've experienced it because the the kof. There's other letters, but the kof. Within the kof, there's the bed. Right. So one. The letters are composed of other letters, letters, and so on. The knowledge is made of of them. Um, when the yeah, Rebbe hired, uh, engaged one of his Hasidim to tutor his children, so he says, well, how am I supposed to teach him all of this? So he said, when you teach him an of you explain that an of is made of two years and about, mm -hmm. and what that represents, etc. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's very, very significant. So, so, um, where at the end of the third line of 133, the, the, the communication with those outside yourself, towards the outside. So, Rav Shams is sort of putting it in, in uh, simpler terms, simpler to understand, that when you, when you communicate with others, you you really are in general you really uh, only transferring a part uh, of the content that you that you yourself are feeling or thinking, right? Um, when you're teaching any subject, let's say math and so on, so you, so the mathematician who's teaching it knows a lot more than he's actually putting them to words, right? But he can only deliver uh, a certain amount of the time to the, to the student. Um, and, uh, or for example, you tell someone, I love you. To you, it might mean an, an entire book. You know, to 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 to, uh, to the person receiving it, it might mean just like one small thing that they got a flower or something. And so too is the the similarly is there is the is the relationship and the value of uh, of the letters of thought to the to the to the substance of the attribute that is. 
dressing itself in those, or that is being dressed in those letters of sanats, and that is that 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 substance of the attribute that is giving life to those letters of thought. Thought is just one way in which the attribute is is manifesting. In the expression of the attributes such as ahava, sina, rachamim, love, hatred, compassion. The machshava, the expression of these emotions, of these attributes in in thought, yeshrak ma'at is only a smallest amount min hamelhut v'hahakev shel hamida atzma. A smallest of amounts of the attribute itself and the scope and the 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 the. the the magnitude of, um, of, of, of this attribute. Understood that last sentence, right? In other words, let's say, for example, you 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 um, you're experiencing love or hate, loving or hate or hating or something or compassion, right? Well, even comparing that to to uh, like you know, to the to, to to the fountain of love that's within you, or the fountain of hatred that's within you, what you're experiencing at the moment as you're thinking it, it's just a small, 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 small part of the of the of the full potential of that attribute. The Rambam says on the mitzvah of loving God, he says it means to be sick with love. So it's explained what does it mean to be sick with love. So, for example, you're so in love with God that you don't even know which bus stop you were supposed to get off at, you know, because you're so preoccupied. It's like when you're really in love with somebody, and and uh, you know, you're just almost not in this world. You know, you you. you wanna, um, so that's sick with love, like in other words, it's interfering. You're so you're so you're so much into it, it's interfering with other things that you need to do. I could see that, that that's a concept that maybe at the very beginning of your relationship with a patient, like it could be that way, but then like, then, like all relationships, it would at some point diminish, not in the amount of love, but in the way that you behave with it. And you become cognizant, just like a relationship. You know, you're just crazy at the beginning, and then unless you you're unless you unless you're the British of the rabbit, you know, or yeah, the, or the exactly. alter rabbit, the British of exactly. the rabbit. The, the British of the story is that in the middle of making kiddush and Pesach at the seder, he just went into ecstasy and they, they knocked the whole table over <laughs> and like you know passed out from from the ecstasy and. And his obviously his his Rebison was on a higher level than him, but she tolerated all that, so she just reset the table and everything went on. But, you know, like she would be upset if he didn't do that. <laughs> Can you imagine? No. <laughs> but she would be upset if he didn't if he didn't if he didn't knock I mean, it over. I mean, huh? No. No, it's hard to imagine that, right? And um, and uh, Walter Rebbe used to govern in a padded room. Mm -hmm. Because he, he he didn't realize like he would just go into ecstasy, he would go crashing into the walls. But you know, he didn't deliberately crash into the walls. He he had no idea that that he was doing that. And then there's a story that that you know when Doctor Edison was married and uh, and uh, and he was living in Doctor Edison's house and it was like a three story house or whatever, Doctor Edison was upstairs. Uh, learning or whatever, and and uh, they left his and, and this, his son was downstairs, and the baby was in a, in a little crib, and the women had gone out, 
wherever they went to, and, they, and he, the Delta of his son, was davening. And apparently, the, there was actually, there used to be um, an, an ongoing argument between Delta Rebbe and the, his son, the Mitla Rebbe, because the Mitla Rebbe used to daven very quietly, and he would stay in one place in very deep meditation. And Delta Rebbe would, would daven, like, you know, like I told you, like jumping around, like Rabbi Akiva like says about Rabbi Akiva. And uh, they argued which way is which way can you which way which way is a higher way of davening. Anyway, so the uh, the baby fell out of the crib while the Nicola Rebbe was davening, but he was totally oblivious. He didn't realize that the baby had fallen out and was crying. So the Alter Rebbe came down from the third floor, picked up the baby, and uh, took care of it. When the son finished davening, he said to him, "As davening was hurt, nishayidu shekin vein and nishdish kan davening." So davening that doesn't hear a Jewish child crying isn't davening. <clears throat> and uh, but on the other hand, when the Alter Rebbe was in prison, he had no choice but to daven like his son, in a controlled, quiet fashion. And when he came out, he told his son that I agree that you can go higher in your way. But he went back to his padded shul, you know. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, there are people who, who keep on growing each day and growing, and growing, you know, growing stronger each day. But the rest of us, you know, we, we, we cool down, you know. Um, the, I don't remember where it was from, but, but uh, the, uh, I was reviewing some of the things that I said that on the parish in previous years. and. And um, there, are, that struggle between Yaakov and that Ish, that that angel man, that archangel of Esav, that wrestling match that was going on. Um, there are sort of two descriptions of it in Rashi. One is that by Yahweh Shimo, that in the rest, in the in their wrestling, the dust rose, and uh, by, and and the other. Idea that Rashi is talking is presenting for the word Bayahabek is more like Bayit Bayahabek, like they were they were embraced in this wrestling match, right? Like you see, like people who are trying to knock each other down, or mm. like you know, did you ever see these sumo wrestlers? I never did, but maybe on television, like you know, like these guys who are six hundred pounds, like you know, they put their arms around the other guy and they try to, <coughs> you know. And uh, so, so what's being represented there is that the, the, the evil inclination can manifest as cold, dry dust, and can manifest as passionate embrace. And um, and these are two different kinds of klipot, but uh, the, the <coughs> we, you know if. When, if, if, and ever any of you, if you or us will reach the level of tzaddik, meaning to say, like the author ever talks about right at the introduction of Shara Yichud Ve'emunah, where you're liberated, where your divine soul is totally liberated from, from, from the demands of the body and, um, and the animal soul. Um, the nature of the divine soul is to continuously be flaming upwards towards Hashem in, in, in continuous passion and just the miracle is, is that it stays in the body anyway. But the nature of the Neshama is, is to, and that's why the, in, in Shulchan Aruch, God the Ramos says that when you make the bracha and share Yotzai, after you come out of the washroom, you say, and you do these wondrous things. What is this great wonder that you're thanking God for? The great wonder is that your body doesn't fly out of his, that your soul doesn't fly out of his body. Thank now, there is, huh? No. It's in Shulchan Aruch. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying yeah. thank you for the for yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and and in other words, it's, it's it's an amazing thing that your soul, which is entirely spiritual, doesn't escape from from a physical body, right? Because God says, "Stay there, please." <laughs> okay. 
that, that the Bredishavu used to pass out. But it does when we sleep, right? And it's in partially. It doesn't, it's okay, but it's still there. Okay, so, so, uh, there are people who go through very, very severe traumas, and we know that in majority cases, uh, after that, they have a hard time remembering it. Does it mean that at this time, soul partially departed from them? Um, because this is what I sometimes think. It, it it could be an example. I don't know. I don't know how how well the example parallels what we're talking about over here. I just don't know. Yeah, I have to think about it. But but it could be a good example of that. Uh, but what you're dis what you're discussing over what what you're talking about could could be more a. Uh, um, just even within the realm of, of, of the animal soul oh. that it behaves that way. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But it still can be a, 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 maybe a good example. Okay? Um, you, in, similarly, like, you know, in, in some forms of severe depression, the, 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 um, the person who's depressed sometimes like sees themselves as being outside their body, looking at themselves. Like you know, like they don't, they're not connected. You know, like they they see that they're here, but they're not here. But it's for sure destruction and not a part of uh, no. some kind of connection. No, with no, no, that's right. That, that, that's the, on the flip side. You know, it's on the flip side, and and. Um, and and like I was mentioning the other day, that you know, in this talk that the Rebbe, the Sikha, the Rebbe was giving on Yutas Kislev, um, in his demand of the Hasidim to go out and find Jewish children who who don't know Aleph Beis and speak to their parents and get them to go to school or teach them yourself and so on. So one of the one of the categories of people that he's addressing is people who are so busy and. Um, as they should be spending lengthy periods of time davening and meditating and learning, and he's saying even you, even you guys, you have to give that up for a certain amount of time and go learn other ways with a child, even though you're even though you're you're so beyond in your learning and and. Uh, it would take you ten years to tell the child what you what you are thinking about at the moment, you know, because it's just a child. So just put yourself aside for a moment and learn out of base. So, <clears throat> um, like, do you, do you remember our friends there, Robus and Estella's husband, Robus is in Jakob Jakob Radkin. He was telling me once that that one of his brothers is a philosopher, and if they would be sitting at the breakfast table, and you'd say, "Can you please pass the milk?" and you start thinking, "Oh, what's milk? <laughs> what does it mean to pass something?" <laughs> and forget it. You had to get up yourself and get it because he would never. By the time he finished his philosophical debate in his mind. It's already supper time. <laughs> he was present, but he was so present. <laughs> it was eternity, right? <laughs> okay. And there's, there's, there are so many other factors to this as well. Like, you know, there's a story about this. Um, I don't remember which Rebison it was, but the, um, there was going to be this concert by this incredible gypsy violinist. And um, and it was taking place at. At some, like you know, the biggest concert, most beautiful concert hall in that city, and uh, and all these 
well-to-do people were coming in their tuxedos and their famous gowns and so on and so on and and they were waiting outside the theater and uh, while they were waiting for the theater doors to open there was, there was this uh, shabbily dressed uh, gypsy sitting on the sidewalk playing a, an old violin and eventually it opened up the theater opened up everybody came in the violinist came on stage and it was that man who had been sitting outside on the sidewalk playing and he says the show is cancelled um, you can all have your money back because you're obviously not here for, my, for the music you're here because of the prestige of whatever you can for your own prestige because I was outside playing and no one, not, no one, none of you paid attention and realized that I was playing, except that he points to, to one woman who was at Revis and the mother of some big Rebbe. He says, she's the only one that actually realized what was going on. And uh, talk about being in the moment. Mm -hmm. right? Or you don't even have to take such an extreme example. How many times do we say, Baruch Atah Hashem? And uh, as if it was nothing. You know, as if, as if, as if, and, and that, without being present. So, <clears throat> I don't want to get you too much into the letters and the words because it's a Shabbos. We do. <laughs> Shabbos does begin at a certain time no matter what. And um, so he says that so too the relationship between the letters of thought and thought and the attributes. And so to the 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 Vachin Erich Mahut Vachiyut Hamida Ligabeha Chochma Vibina Vidan Shikhalutan who has Sechel Shimimeno Nimshechamida Zot. And so to the substance of the, is the relationship of the substance and the life energy of the attribute in comparison to the Chochma Bina and that. Uh, that the, the, the three of which make up the, the intelligence from which the attribute is coming, is emanating from. The, 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 the emotional relationship to something, it only expresses one aspect, one side, just a little bit. From the from the the, the, the all-encompassing uh, intellectual awareness of that thing. So, so the, the conclusion or the wrapping up of this whole discussion, we arrive at the understanding that she has no power at sum, that there's a tremendous powerful gap. Between Chochma as the primary energy of the primal energy of awareness, and the action, the final manifestation in action, which is the, the final expression that and the lowest form of expression shall kachot hanefesh of the soul energies of the soul. And this is the way it is in the soul soul of man. And also the life energy are the souls of all created beings. In all worlds, on your name, the the supernal and lower worlds, Shibikulam, Hachokma, Hireshit, Makoch, Mikoch, Achiyut, in all worlds, Chokme is the primal source of the life energy of everything that follows. Hachokma, Mivatete, Tasma, Kenefesh, the Gabe, Kol Habayot, Hadam. So the Chokme expresses itself like a soul to all other aspects of the being of man. Ha-seichel 
לחיי את המידה. It's the, it's the intelligence that gives, that gives life energy, it vivifies the attribute. Amida mechaya et ha-machshava, the attribute activates or vivifies the soul, the, the thought. Ha-machshava mechaya et ha-dibur, the thought vivifies speech, the dibur mechaya et ha-maase, and speech vivifies action. יוצא שהחוכמה כמדרגה הראשונה של השכל, so we, what, we, we, what we come to realize is that the חוכמה as the primary level of the intelligence, היא הדרגה הראשונה של הוויית האדם כולה. That is, חוכמה is the primary level of the entire being of man. the primal level, the primary level. This is, I always have trouble understanding this because I, I've thought about it often, like, you know, it's, can you access, like, you know, to access your thought without words. In other words, he's saying there's thought before letters and words, you know, but it's hard to, to, to conceptualize that. Because as soon as you try to do it, you, you have to use words already, right? And we're not talking simply about, when we, before we were talking about, you know, impulse that leads to emotion, et cetera, et cetera. That we can get, but over here is going even further. Um, internally, And in parentheses he says, she came clape chus nechshav gam ha-ketach. Now he's saying that concerning um, the external, there's also the, 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 the attribute of the crown. But internally, ein da gag vohan yoteh mechamiya chokhmah, there's no level higher than chokhmah. Than chokhmah. והיא נחשבת לכן לראשית במקור כל אביתנו, and therefore it is considered to be the primal and source, the primary source of our being and everything that we do. Okay, so in case you have to hand in the philosophy paper, you've got what to work with. Have a good chance. Chance. What does it mean the cave? What does it mean by what? The cave. It's a Hebrew word. A cave? The hey. cave. The cave. Spell it. Can you? Um, I mean, I get this word. Where did you get the word? It's totally... Where did you get the word? I write a message and I get the, the answer and the first word is in... No, no, I understand, but the, 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 the word that you read today? No, 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 it's a message. I just don't... Oh, the kef. It's oh, kef, kef. It's for the kef. No, the kef is... is, is uh, when you say that, that, you know, there, it was... You went somewhere... In